Hello my friends, and welcome back to another tutorial video for Komorebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. In this video, I'll walk you through how you can add rules to the static configuration file to tell the window manager to ignore certain applications. Let's head over to the static configuration file. What we're going to want to do is add a new key. And that key is float rules. And these will come up automatically if you have set up the auto completion feature. So float rules takes an array of rules and each rule is an object. So we'll open up curly braces for a new object. Uh, here you see we have auto completions for ID and kind. So let's say for this tutorial that we want the Visual Studio code window application to be ignored by the tiling window manager. So uh, I think we can target this using the executable name. I'm not sure what the name is. Let's look that up. Um, there we go. So to look up information about an application window, type in Komorebi C state, and then go and take a look at the windows that are open. Here we can see that the exe for Visual Studio Code is code with a capital C dot exe. So let's target that. That is going to be our ID code.exe. So let's save that. Right now, to apply new float rules, you do need to restart the process. This is something that I am going to address in an upcoming version of Komorebi. But for now, if you are on version 0.1.18, once you've added your float rules in, go ahead and type Komorebi C stop and then start again with your config minus just in the home directory. So we're gonna hit that. And you can see this is now floating, right? And it is ignored by the tiling window manager. So I can still, you know, go and do things here. Uh, well, I only have two windows, so I can't do too much. Let's add another one. You know, and I'm still tiling but this Visual Studio code window remains unmanaged. So you can go ahead and do that for any number of applications that you would like. Just add this new key, float rules, and when you're done, make sure to restart the process. Hopefully this will be self-updating uh, in a running instance of the window manager from version 0.1.19 onwards. But I will make a separate video on that when it is released. Before I leave you, um, I want to do two things. The first thing is I want to give a shout out to everybody who has been sponsoring this project. And we've had some new sponsors this month, so I want to give them a shout out. Thank you to Jacob, Dylan, Maxwell, Brady, Alex, Julian, and Hisayuki for their continued support of this project. If you too would like to support this project, there is a sponsor button that you can click on the repository. And you know what? It doesn't even matter how much you sponsor, even if it's just a dollar a month, it makes a huge difference to me. And I really, really appreciate it. If you are not able to uh, become a GitHub sponsor, the very next best thing that you can do is subscribe to the channel on YouTube where you are probably watching this video. All right, that is it for this little tutorial. Stay tuned and stay subscribed for more tutorials in the future. I hope that whatever you do today, you have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.